so I can feel that part of you that holds back. And I have a feeling there's some work to do for you around your rage and maybe repressed rage and some stuff that maybe old stuff. And it could be, you know, doing some writing or thinking about moments when you made decisions around what rage meant, you know, the decisions from examples you had of what anger and rage mm -hmm. mean, what it means to be like that. We often make, you know, early life decisions about how we want to be based on our, the information we got, you know? Yeah, the seeing my parents fight was so terrifying. Yeah, yeah. so terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yelling, rage, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the some of us end up as the 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 pleasers, you know, and wanting to be nice and people to like us. And then we have to kind of a lot of this work in here is the undoing of of some of that stuff, mm -hmm. so that we can fully express and be fully human. And also just heal some of that stuff, mm. you know. Mm. Those were the things that I, I think, in my early twenties, like I really wish that I had heard more. Like knowing how much, and my acting teacher always used to say, you know, Larry Moss always used to say, people don't get careers for two reasons or three really: uh, technical problems, emotional problems, or a combination of both. And I really think that the, the emotional side of things doesn't get worked through enough because mm -hmm. we just, there's stuff that we are hard, we become hardwired mm -hmm. to avoid. We don't even know we're doing it. Mm -hmm. So working in this way mm -hmm. is so good. It's going to feel like shit and you're going to find a million excuses to do everything else. <laughs> but it's, it's really good. good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. It's really, 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 really good.